There's no more natural treatment of anything probably than using essentially encapsulated and concentrated sunlight. It's more natural than putting a medicine on or taking anything. It's, it's almost as natural as exercise and, and a good healthy diet. Patients are continually telling us how this frees us from expensive medications, messy medications, painful medications or medicines that, that like all medicines have side effects. It's just making this home phototherapy available allows the patients to take control of their disease treatment. My name is Marianne Aquino Lagura and I've been living with eczema for 45 years. Quality of life before the UV light was miserable. A lot of it had to do with um, my body image. I couldn't really wear short sleeves or dresses or even open-toed shoes because I was so conscious about exposing my eczema. Sometimes the eczema was so inflamed that it hurt and it cracked. And other times uh, it would weep. So, you know, wearing long sleeves, it would stick and it was just really uncomfortable on a day-to-day -day basis. Topical creams, I would use it so frequently like lotion and it never did really clear it all up. It got to a point where sometimes I would be really happy to get a, a cold with a little bit of my asthma because I would get prednisone because I knew that it would clear my body up within a couple of days. My name is John Burmester and I've had psoriasis for 30 years. I was dealing with Approximately 10% of my body surface covered with plaques from the psoriasis. The kind of symptoms I would experience is uh, it flare up, especially was itching and pain, cracking, and also the, the appearance of it is really hard to deal with. I tried, um, I think, methotrexate, was on trial for Raptiva, tried Enbrel, uh, Clobetazole. Um, there's more, I'm sure. Last year in May, I got like a some kind of a lesion up here, and it, it turned into a um, an infection in my face. I came in to see my doctor on a Friday. And he sent me directly to the ER, so I actually had plans to go away that weekend to the coast. Uh, instead, I spent the weekend in the hospital. <laughs> my doctor said, "You're not going to be on the Enbrel anymore." <laughs> I was actually relieved, but then I was also wondering, what are my options after this? It allows us to shift away from using certain agents like these biologic agents which tend to have a lot more side effects and a lot of toxicity. A lot of times one of the barriers to doing phototherapy is the fact that you have to come in the clinic, you spend you know, minutes trying to find parking, to pay for parking, travel time, etc., etc. It really gives them that flexibility to use a treatment that works for them in the comfort of their own home. The phototherapy actually has been one of the most effective ways of managing my psoriasis. Just a, a topical steroid and uh, phototherapy is what I'm doing right now. I'm a pretty active person and I like to go running, trail running, hiking, backpacking. I'd rather not have to take a biological drug that stresses your immune system. Just having the option of managing my treatment in my own time allows me more time to do the activities that I love to do. The treatments that I've been doing at home has improved my quality of life greatly. My skin is all clear. I don't have to use any steroids at all to control. It's, I just use lotion. That's it. I really appreciate the health that it's giving me back. Um, 
the comfort in my own skin and it's really opened up the doors for um, other aspects of my health and taking a really good look at it and um, being more proactive to do other things that are more uh, healthier for my skin. I don't have to worry about possible side effects of the, of the embryo. So I didn't want to have to go through the same thing like that, being in the hospital. That was not very pleasant and it was a little bit scary. And I don't have to drive an hour and a half each time I get a treatment. I can do more treatments at home. I can do treatments seven days a week if I want to. I'm just happy that I've got that option now. It's, it's a simpler treatment for me. It's repeatedly surprised me where people's lives are touched. This, this kind of example just keeps coming up. There are so many people who are touched by something as simple as being able to get ready access to a treatment that works. This has been the best collaboration with pharmacy that, that I can think of out of many years of, of excellent work with pharmacy. Pharmacy started it. They've been involved in everything from the initial contract negotiations with a vendor to the durable medical equipment uh, formulary changes, helped educate the physicians, they've educated their fellow pharmacists, they've helped us troubleshoot across the board. I think one of the best things about this project was the level of collaboration between the physicians and nurses and the pharmacy team. Um, you know, we were always in contact with each other and the main goal at the end of the day was to make sure that the patient got the care that they needed. It's been really rewarding to see the impact that this project has had on our patients. This project from the beginning to the end has been a collaboration with the pharmacist and that's the best way for it to be. The pharmacy at Kaiser Permanente is, is just our, it's like our secret, secret weapon. Nobody can replicate the collaboration we have between pharmacy and the medical group.